Hunter x Hunter, episode 10. Yeah, this poor guy didn't know <laughs> who he was trying to carry out this bluff on. He got the, the full ruby eye treatment. This revenge arc has so much, so much room to breathe. So many things can happen with it. We'll see, there's so many ways it can go. I mean... <laughs> Trick X to the X trick. This show is established, it doesn't mind letting its main characters just murder people, so... Who knows? Sorry, Lirio, but I don't have a lot of faith in you right now. Maximum Drama says no. One way to defeat Lirio is a battle of, like, who can stay the most calm, who gets the least riled up. Instant loss for Lirio. He's already worked out. <laughs> what? Oh, because he's not dead. Wait, it was a death match, right? Oh, that's... Oh, that's dark. Damn, gonna murder him in cold blood? Let me wake him up and ask him. Wake him up and ask him? Or, I don't know, just hurl him into the pit? I think I know which way is gonna fall in this debate. Wow, no mercy, just... Good, good for Kuripika. Right. Right. Hey, listen, you have a choice. You can forfeit now or you can go into this pit. Yeah, you're smelling salt. So many laxatives left? Tampa's here, Tampa has laxatives! There's one thing Tampa does well, is feed people laxatives. What's a different meaning for vote by the majority? But this time they don't need their watches. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, 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 this is really interesting actually. Gon says no, Kurupika says no. Kalua and Leo Leo vote yes. Does Tompa know where they stand? He wants to ruin their chances, right? So he, he might also vote no. Tompa actually might have an influence in this one. It's not official, yeah. But it's still the same principle though. Wow, so confident. <laughs> Wow. Gon's is way too sweet for that. I would, I would be shocked. <laughs> wow, that's rich. Coming from Tampa. Oh, he's pouting. Sometimes I forget that he's only a teenager. He claims. また個人の意見を尊重しているようにも思えるが、実のところ少数派の意思を抹殺する危険な制度だ。何度も連続して少数派に回り、自分の意見が抹殺され続けたら、疎外感、不満。So now we're actually getting into some ideas about majority rule. Tambo going over a lot of the, the obvious negatives. There's an interesting addition to this though, which is the rule by the outspoken minority. I can't remember where I heard this, but it's an interesting idea. It goes something like, if there is a small minority, even an extremely small minority, who are unmovable on a preference, whereas the vast majority are kind of indifferent, that small minority will actually end up dominating what ends up happening. One easy example is in food. Like, most people don't care if food is kosher or not, but people who are kosher really care about kosher, so a lot of food that can be kosher ends up just being kosher because that creates the the broadest consumer market if you expand that way the hell out you can also say the same thing for movements i mean people who are just living their lives will often just acquiesce to a change in sentiment that's fostered by like a really really outspoken or dedicated or unflinching smaller group of people for better or for worse there's a related saying that i'm about to butcher don't underestimate the power of a small group of dedicated individuals to change the world because that's the only thing that ever has actually contrary to tampa's point i think this is an example of that this is Kurapika being dedicated that other people don't even bother. They just give out the vote. Whereas my expectation was for at least both Kalua and Leo Leo, which is half of the people that we care about, <laughs> to vote for the killing. Why though? <laughs> Still haven't established why. Wow, he's really dragging Leo Leo right now. I respect this monologue as an overthinker. Nah, it's not, not that big a deal. Nah. Leo Leo's just naturally constantly worked up. He'll recover in two minutes. As soon as he finds something else to get worked up about. 
Oh, yeah, good. Let's see what Hisoka's up to. Oh. Oh, what did you do last time? Oh, this is what happens when teachers lose it. Sometimes students get to them. Again, this reminds me of March comes in like a lion. Damn, quad wielding. Yeah, Hisoka doesn't even need to do this. He's just showing off. <laughs> he just like, like evaporate him, disintegrate him with the number four card. Oh, I actually got touched. What the hell? What just happened? He just took, took it like nothing. Oh, he caught them. Honestly, that's kind of impressive. <laughs> he was doing a lot. But yeah, like, you're using projectiles on a projectile user. He's literally a clown. He does this. Wow, there is a lot of decapitation in this arc. Decapitation. Murder, Agisoka. Yeah, we knew that. Joker card falls on top of the pile. Wow. Like, the question for me is not how much time they're wasting on this event. It's like, how many more events are there after this? Who the hell knows? I mean, Soka seemed to go through it like a breeze, but I guess he was lucky he didn't get the the majority room. It would have been so crazy if he was the, the fifth, though. Why don't you just try waking him up? Right. Yeah, if you're out this long, it's not a good sign. Well, th well, I mean, that would make things simpler. Someone check his vitals? Kurpika can go check. Fair. Oh no, is this, is this the challenge? It's clever. Say no, you don't have to play their games. <laughs> when will you learn? Just say no, just say no. Kurpika can just go. Okay. How much time are we talking? Oh, this is tough. It's a lot to think about. Assuming Kurupika can't check, what's the optimal strategy here? I mean, before I follow her line of reasoning into this game, I just gotta state, as always, you don't have to agree to these terms. Surely there's some kind of fair fairness principle here? Why are they the examiners? I mean, if they're the examiners and, and can just decide what can and can't happen, there's no point playing in the first place. It's not a real game. Who said they can't check? And who said they get to decide whether or not the blue guy is a corpse or not? First thing that comes to mind is that you gain nothing by them extending their sentence. There's nothing for you. So if you're going to accept, you, you bet very minimally. 10 hours max. And if they don't accept, then you wait. Otherwise, it's a potential immediate game over event. Oh, but Leo Rio is not, I don't know. He's a bad one to be in this situation. He's not the one. Pleasantly surprised to see how much they care about endangered life, endangered animals in this world, considering how little they care about human life. <laughs> Lou, you don't have any instincts on this? Gon? Gon has instincts. Gon can't, like, smell his pulse. Right, minimal damage. Alright, he's unconscious. Just wake his ass up. あいつがずっと起きなかったら。それだけで Oh, okay, he's just faking it. Oh, wow, that was actually great by Leo Leo. I underestimated. Alright, we got this in the bag. Stickle his feet or something, or, I don't know, light him on fire. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> throw him off. Threaten to throw him off and see if he wakes up on the way down. <laughs> see if he screams on the way down. Oh. Perfectly played. Well played. Either way, we win. How much does he care about the cause? <laughs> oh, now you're allowed to refuse terms. See how that works only one way. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Gon just smiling. Gon just loves it. He's just happy no matter what. He's just happy to be here. Bye. <laughs> Oh, that's nice of him. Wait, but she bet on his consciousness. Yeah, but at a huge cost. I feel like there was a better way to play that, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I feel like I'm playing playing a strategy game just watching this. They are just too amenable to the enemy team's terms. Why did Leo Rio let her change her bet? Why didn't he bet first? He had the the winning chess move and he blundered it, but he did get the emotional satisfaction of being right. I might be missing a key detail here. Another dark winning strategy would have been to bet on his unconsciousness and then drop him. <laughs> So that he is surely unconscious. She never specified a time frame on that consciousness. That also would result in them getting the point because it's a death match. I guess Tumbo was right. Leo Leo was just sitting there getting bitter about being left out, not being able to influence things. He really took that mantle on his own shoulders. God, this whole exam dealing with the, the participants, it reminds me of what my mom told me about university, where she said part of your degree is learning how to navigate the bureaucracy. Maybe that's the real challenge of the Hunter exam. It's just developing really, really thick skins for nonsense and tricks and lying. People trying to emotionally mentally manipulate you. That honestly probably would be worth the price of admission. That would really show something. How to navigate this dark world practically with your mind intact. But my favorite character in all this is just Gon, because like, I don't know, he cares, but his caring about the exam is secondary or tertiary. They're just him happy to be outside. He's just loving life. It's an adventure.